Now a very quick introduction to DSP Speedster, which is a simulate based tool for system analysis and algorithm proving. We go to the MATLAB command line type Speedster, which is our short uh, name for this tool. Up comes a splash panel which uh, shows us the 20 different compartments or libraries which hold up the, hold the blocks that make up this, this tool. Uh, if I click on this one, for example, I see a bunch of signal generators primarily in this area here. And I also then see some blocks which have been brought in from mainstream Simulink and parked locally here for easy reference so that we don't have to dig too deeply down into to the Simulink libraries to get our hands on those. And we can, we, we've elevated these because we think these are particularly useful ones that we often have to get our hands on. Uh, otherwise, inside these blocks, we've built uh, them up from the elemental Simulink uh, blocks inside, uh, and or we have uh, we've uh, written code uh, in, in M files to put inside those. Now, of all of these compartments, the most important one probably for uh, beginning with this tool is to go to the demos. There's a range of different demos here. The theme is primarily communications, instrumentation, but also filter uh, information as well as treated. So here's one where we look at filters. I just click on that, move these panels down out of the way. Uh, and I have here a simple model where I have a filter which is being interrogated by this impulse uh, train, which comes in periodically from this signal generator. And two things happen. One is I have experimental measurement results coming out here on a single trace signal analyzer. But I also have a block here which is connected to the internal mechanics of this filter. And it knows from the MATLAB B vector, the coefficient vector, uh, what theoretically we should be expecting. So this is a sort of a, a, a theoretical internal analyzer. Doesn't depend on the measurements outside. Now, uh, I click on this. This is my controller, a little controller block here, which enables me to move, in this case of a low-pass filter, the band edge, shape it perhaps sharper or not. And I see correspondingly the, the impulse response on this scope up here and the corresponding transfer function magnitude down here. I mentioned also this lower pathway where I'm hooked up to the in, internals of that block. And the same sort of thing available here, but of course, quite a bit more because I can get my dB gain, group delay, all those sorts of things here, and also some various other credentials which I can print out and sort of uh, get a complete snapshot of what this filter is if, under any particular operating conditions. So filters do figure prominently in this tool, and they occupy quite a number of these libraries in this central region right here. But these are also linked up with signal generators and uh, scopes and in fact other things were like modulators, samplers, and so forth. So if I go in here, get myself first off a piece of blank paper, you could say, an empty model window, grab myself a, a block here which is a, uh, oh I seem to have gotten two, for the price of one there when I picked it up. Uh, so this is some sort of uh, linear pulse generator. I'm going to uh, look at this but with a scope. So I click here and bring in uh, this analyzer. If I want to know something about how these analyzers work, uh, there's a little local help, which I can click. And it, it comes up telling me lots of uh, things about what of what's inside and how, how to organize and so forth. In fact, there's various onboard helps that you can click and read about how you should proceed. The most information really comes from the demos because there, in this, in this library here, you can see uh, not only the themes of, the, of each of these uh, subjects, but also uh, we can get some written information about it and usually some references as well. So they, th these demos represent a pre-built uh, miniature DSP and comms course, which you can go through. But building your own is no big deal either. You just wire them up and you run it. 
And similarly uh, to the controls we had a while ago, we quite often have controls on the signal generator so that I can see for the wider pulse, the more tightly compacted spectrum and vice versa. I can save this model. I can save it to uh, my own area down here where I have some keepsakes, or I can store it elsewhere in my MATLAB filing system. Okay, uh, we have uh, then this range of s signal sources, signal sinks, and modulators of various sorts, nonlinear memoryless devices, and all the rest. So we have a terrific range of systems that can be built without writing a single line of, line of code. Now, this does not, however, prevent you from using your legacy or your favorite uh, M files that you've written. You can embed these into simulate blocks and run them alongside the pre-built blocks in case you, you have special things that you want to do. You can even use them as supervisory programs to exercise and to run uh, a simulate model. So you have a terrific amount of flexibility with this tool.